Welcome back to my channel. Uh, in a while. Yeah, it's been a while. I've been on hiatus for about a month, but I already did do one video. I made the potato pie. So this is for dinner, and uh, I'm glad to be back in New York so I can get back to my video making and stuff like that. But I do plan on being back in Florida again in September for Halloween Horror Nights at Universal. So that's a shout out for Universal and Halloween Horror Nights. I usually go with Michael, Danny, this time Nicole and Christina coming for the first time. Hopefully, Ricky and Felicia, my brother and my sister, will come also. Let's forget about that. Let's get to what we're making today. So today I'm making broccoli and pasta. This is a dish that I grew up with. Very, very easy to make. There's only three, in actually there's four ingredients. You have fresh broccoli, you have garlic, you have cheese, and you have uh, extra virgin olive oil. Some people do put a little bit of red pepperoncino, red cherry, uh, flakes in, pepper flakes in. I'm going to omit that today because sometimes I cook with so much pepper. If I put the ch uh, the red uh, flakes in, Jimmy gets a little bit pissed off. He says, oh my God, it's really good, but it's way too hot. So the first thing I have going is I have my boiling water. I'm going to add my sea salt in and I have about, uh, probably I want to say probably about it. It's a head of, uh, of broccoli. And what I do is just so you know, I uh, go to Costco. I sometimes buy the whole broccoli. That's really good. But why I find when I buy the whole broccoli, I really don't end up using it right away and it ends up going bad. So what I do is I go to Costco. So I buy the huge, huge bag, and I basically split split it up, and I make four or five bags Come out on. of them. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like. And what I do is I vacuum pack them like this. Okay, so I vacuum pack them. These are fresh. Uh, these have not been cooked. They never go bad. These will be in the refrigerator for about six months. I got about six meals out of that one big bag. If I wouldn't have done this, it would have went bad and I would have ended up throwing it away. So if you have a machine that does vacuum seal, it's the best thing you can do because... If you don't buy one. Right. I would recommend you buy one because that's what we do with all our food. So I have my water boiling. I salt it. I'm going to add the broccoli in and we're going to just cook that for a little while. Because then we're going to be adding it to, we're going to be adding it to the uh, to the frying pan. Now, what you want to do is do not get rid of this water, okay? Because this is the water that we're going to be cooking our spaghetti in. But today, I'm going to be making it with linguine. Uh, you can use any type of spaghetti you like. You can use rigatoni. You can use ziti. I grew up having it with spaghetti and linguine, so that's the way I'm going to be doing it today. And you also want some Pecorino Romano or grated cheese. Make sure it's finely grated. It should be like snow, like snow. Wow. Finely grated, okay? And then now we're going to get started into, while that's cooking, we're going to put a little bit of virgin olive oil. Uh, we're going to turn on the heat. And we're going to throw some virgin olive oil in the frying pan. Okay, we're gonna, we have that on, and we're going to throw our garlic in. Okay, so we have our garlic, and uh, let's use these today, because we're going to be using these anyway. So, I'm going to let that come up to a, a little bit of a, of our simmer. We're going to start cooking the garlic. Remember, do not throw the pasta water away that you're cooking the broccoli in. That's the water that we're going to be using to actually cook our pasta in. It's going to give the pasta more of a, of a broccoli flavor. So, and then what you want to do is when you take your broccoli, when you take your pasta out of the boiling water, directly into the frying pan. Don't drain it. Let it sit for a couple of minutes. It gets dried and, and all that. Right into the broccoli, and I'm going to show you how we're going to do that. So give me a couple of minutes. When we come back, the broccoli should be done. Okay, so my garlic is cooking, and I don't want my garlic to burn, so I'm going to take a little bit of the pasta water, just a little. And I'm going to just pour it into the frying pan. Very important. Right. And basically what that does, that ensures that my garlic will not burn. Okay, so this has been cooking for about five minutes. 
We're going to take it right out of the water. Five and six. Five and six. Five and six minutes. And we're going to put it right into the frying pan that we have our garlic and olive oil. Okay. I think I got everything. Yes, I did. Okay, I'm going to keep this on low. You can get rid of this. Don't dump out your water. Right. Do not get rid of your pasta water. You're going to need at least a cup of that to make the uh, to make the sauce. So we're going to cook this in here for about five or ten minutes. We'll cook that before we add the pasta. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of salt, probably about a teaspoon. And we're going to add a little bit of pepper. Okay, give this a stir gently. Let this cook. Let this cook down. Now, while this is cooking, my pasta water is still boiling. I'm going to take the pasta. And I'm going to throw my pasta right inside the water with the broccoli juice. Never break pasta in half. Never break pasta. Sacrilege. Yeah. So this will cook. Follow the instructions on the back of your pasta box on how long to cook your pasta. This is about al dente. is probably going to be about 10 minutes on my pasta. That's what it says on the box. Just swirl it around a little so it separates, and that's it. Then we can come back to here, stir this a little. Okay, and what I want to do so I don't forget, I'm going to take a cup of the pasta water out. And I'm going to keep that on the side. Okay, so while the pasta is cooking, we're going to just cook this for a little while, and when we come back, the pasta should be done, and uh, we'll put the whole thing together. I'll show you how to finish off this dish. Okay, so my pasta is done. My broccoli has been cooking, so we're going to take this slide out. Make sure you put the frying pan on very low. Don't worry if you get a little bit of pasta water in here because it actually helps it. to get every string out okay. to get every piece out so um, we can turn the heat up a little bit I like the ones that was just coat your and some of the broccoli will break up that's the modern way zip zip you want to mix all this together the chef of the future Looks absolutely delicious. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add some pepper. I'm good, you already added some. Be careful. Pepper is very secret ingredient to this dish. You can never add, remember, this is not cache pepe. This is. You don't want to become cache pepe. No. Big experience. See, all that liquid's been absorbed in the pasta. So now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a tiny bit of salt, not that much. And then we're going to add our secret ingredient, which is the cheese. Okay. 
the cheese actually makes it nice and creamy. Don't worry, Jim, you won't taste the cheese. Oh, right, that's fine, I'm okay with that. I'm worried I'm about the fucking pepper. <laughs> no, that's right, I didn't put that much in. Oh, I thought we both give it on planet Earth. No, I didn't put that much in. I only put like maybe well, a tablespoon. Well, this was all I taste, I'll say, I'll let you know. See, I like some of my broccoli broken down. But not mushed. See the nice little gravy mix on the bottom. Okay, and this is ready to plate. Yeah. go. Maybe a little bit more cheese. No, you lose that outside there, right? Yeah, but this should be the, the All right, okay. you. Just a tiny bit more cheese. I have some cheese rinds in here that I saved, so I want to make sure those don't go in. I saved my cheese rinds because I make a special pasta. I need those. There we go. Nice and creamy. Okay. This is ready to plate. I really didn't need the pasta water because I, never know. I added pasta water to the broccoli as I was cooking it. And then I also had some of the pasta water. I think half of this could weigh too much. You're not going to put a half piece, right? So this is for James. Yeah, that's perfect. That could always come back in more anyway. Yeah, that's if there is any. Well, yeah. This is for me. No, I think I made just enough pasta. Yeah, you did. You have, you have, I have way more than you, so you can some more. I just want to give you some of the... The gravy, yeah, definitely. Cheese. Victor does. Absolutely. Of course. So I love my cheese, so I always put a lot of cheese in. You want any? No, no, that's fine. I'm trying to some more enough for me. Because so, then you don't think it's all you taste cheese, you don't right, taste the that's pasta. It, you know? you said you have a cheese sandwich. Exactly. Okay. So this is our meal. We're going to just top it up with a little bit of black not, not pepper. Not mine, not mine. Oh my God. Okay. Okay, the oven's off. And that's it. Broccoli and pasta. Very easy to make. Uh, grew up on this plate. You can use any pasta you want. You can use rigatoni. It doesn't have to be long spaghetti or fettuccine. You can use almost any pasta to make this dish. Some people make it different in Italy, depending on the region you're from. Some people put a little bit of salami inside. Some people put pepperoncino inside. So I'm just going to leave it just the way it is. So we're going to sit down now and have our dinner. And uh, that's it. So like I say at the end of all my videos, take care of one another. Peace out.